Let's have a look at how you can bend objects and shapes using Adobe Illustrator. This can be accomplished one of two ways, either with the Envelope Distortion tool or with the Puppet Warp tool. Let's have a look at both. And for reference, this works with individual shapes as well as groupings of objects as I have here on my screen. So the first option we'll have a look at is the Envelope Distortion tool. So I'm gonna click on my object to select it. I'll come up here to the Objects menu. I'll go to Envelope Distort and I will choose Make with Warp. Now from this drop-down menu, you'll see that we have a lot of different options to choose from. If you just want to bend your shape, you'll probably want to choose the arc option, and then you can use this slider right here to change the intensity of the bend in the object. And if you want to change the orientation, you can do so with these settings over here. So by default, it's bending the object on the horizontal axis, but if I choose vertical, it'll bend the object relative to the vertical axis like that. And if you use this drop-down, you'll notice we have some other options to choose from. For example, we have the flag option, which creates multiple bends. So if I choose that, and let me set this back to horizontal, you'll notice we have a waving flag sort of effect that creates multiple bends in the shape or the selected object. And once you're finished, you can apply the changes by clicking the OK button. And these changes are editable at any time by going back to that menu. So if you want to go back and change the intensity of this bend, you can go back to Object, Envelope Distort, and choose Reset with Warp, and you can go back in here and edit this as needed. Now let's have a look at the other option for bending shapes in Adobe Illustrator, which would be the Puppet Warp tool. So if I click on my object to select it, I can come over here to my Tools menu, and if I hold a click over the Free Transform tool, you'll see a menu pop up with this option down here that says Puppet Warp Tool. If I click on that to select it, we now have the Puppet Warp Tool enabled. Now, if you don't see all of these tools in your menu, just come up here to where it says Window, go down to Toolbars, and select Advanced. And once you do that, you'll notice we have these two points on the object. These two points can be clicked and dragged to bend the object relative to the other point. So if I click and drag on this point, it's bending the object relative to this point, and it's also rotating around this point over here. And I could do the same thing with this point. I could bend this as needed. Where this really becomes useful though, let me press Control Z to undo this. You can add your own points in here. So if I come over here, I can click to add a point. I can come over here and click to add another point. And then I come over here to the middle and click to add another point. And if I want to get rid of these points, I can just click on them to select them and press the delete key and now they're gone. So I'll get rid of that one and I'll get rid of this one as well. And now I have the three points that I want that allow me to bend the object and I could just take this point and bend it like that. And I could do the same thing with these other points here. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Illustrator Explainer series. It's a collection of over a hundred videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Adobe Illustrator and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you wanna check that out. As always, thanks for watching.